I'm a healthcare provider and care knows no borders. Care knows no borders and neither do we. Care knows no borders and neither do I. It's not just about bargaining, it's not just about us, our pay raise, it's about having a heart and giving that compassion back to the community. So these are people that are in need, they are human beings just like we are. Today we are here to provide uh, basic medical uh, care, for example, uh, a lot of screenings, uh, glucose screenings, blood pressure screenings. We're also here to provide medical supplies, so first aid kits, like toothbrushes, dental floss. I felt like I needed to come and help out this population on my Saturday off. Um, because there are people that are very vulnerable. They don't have no help. Nobody steps up, you know, who is going to come and help them. It's a uh, health care, I believe, is a right of everyone, every single individual, regardless of country of origin, regardless of if they have money or not. Because it's very easy to say it's not my problem let them deal with it, but you know what? Why are we on the sidelines? Why do we have to let someone else take care of it when we are perfectly capable of doing it ourselves? People are just trying to improve their lives every, every day. The people here, they're trying to um, have a better life for themselves and their children. Bueno, la verdad, venimos para estar algo mejor, buscar un mejor futuro y porque Hay un poco de inseguridad en el país. We need to take care of each other. And I know it sounds very simple, but it's also very difficult when we have the mentality of it's not my problem, you know? I feel like I was blessed enough to uh, be able to go to nursing school and help people. And um, I want to help people, you know, outside of just my regular profession. Um, people who don't necessarily have access to the same types of care we may have in the States. Just like back home, everybody's with the, running around with the cold. Same thing here, except that the difference is that these kids don't have any medications. People are unfortunately experiencing things that I've been fortunate enough to never have to think about. So it's been a, a good, uh, humbling experience. Definitely seeing the kids. Um, people want to demonize people that are uh, migrating. When you see these children, you see the most fundamental core reason why they're coming, which is to have a better life. And to see these children just still enjoying regardless of the struggle that they're going through and they're still playing and coming up to us and smiling and just saying thank you and just saying hi what's your name um, that really hit home because you know we take for granted a lot of stuff that we have. Being a daughter of uh, immigrants, I know my parents had to sacrifice a lot to get to the United States and give me the life that I do have now. Um, so I can't imagine what, what they've done to get to this point. Well, unions are composed of people. You know, you want something that morally and ethically feels good to you. And, you know, that's what the union is doing. They're backing us on that on that basic front. It allows us to expand not only in our careers, but as people. Because I've always wanted to be involved, but I never knew how. So when the union organized this, it, it just clicked, like, this is where I'm meant to be. You know, this is something that I'm meant to do. It definitely makes you feel united. Um, I never was part of a union. This is the first union I'm ever part of. And I'm just excited that we're crossing not only counties, but state line and, you know, country lines. I'm proud to be part of this organization, being part of SEIU, because it really shows that they care. Yeah, there's a lot of people out here, and I'm part of that organization. It makes me feel really proud. It, it felt good, but it also feels really sad that, like, who would have helped them if it wasn't for us being here? And if not us, who? If not us, who? If not us, 
Who? Who? Who?